Hello everyone, I'm the Octane Genocide and today I have a little bit of a different video. Today I'm going to talk to you about the 5 best architecture shows to watch on Netflix. The first show is called Abstract, The Art of Design. This has two seasons and each season is about 6 to 8 episodes. I think it's still ongoing, well I hope it is. It's a really good show. Each episode is about a totally different subject. So there is, for example, bio and bioengineering with architecture. There's about colors. There's about light. This show has some famous architects. It has Els Devlin, uh, Bjarke Ingels, and so many more people that are really, really talented in their field. And I just find it interesting because they bring out subjects and topics in architecture and dish in design that I didn't know about, and it keeps you up to date with some big, big changes in architecture. It's not just for architects, students. It's for architects themselves. It's for aspiring architects, it can be used for, inter for designers, interior designers, engineers, This it covers so many different levels of architecture. The next show is called The World's Most Extraordinary Home. It's hosted by two people, one is an architectural journalist and the other one is an actual architect. Now this show is really cool and interesting. When they talk about these uh, these homes, they don't just go straight to the building, no. They, it's a, it's a, they go on their journey to the building and they describe how they feel, they describe what they think, their senses. They talk about how the building has been made, how it's been constructed. They show little diagrams. They show uh, one of the guys sometimes sketches, and it makes you understand the building a bit more rather than just seeing fancy images and, and some nice videos. They go all around the world. They go to Australia. They go to Europe, Africa, Asia, America. They go all over the world, and just the things they show, it's amazing. It's a calm, relaxing show. It does, there's not too much going on. They don't bombard you with information. It's nice, simple, very understanding and very enjoyable. Now the next show is called Tiny House Nation. It's where people come together and they explain their tiny house, they talk about the tiny house, they talk about how they've built it, they even show how they've built it and ideas and how they live in them. They show all of the smart compartmentations of the actual house. They show how they use them, they show how it costs, how much it costs them to make and it it's really nice to see how these people live so minimal in such a small house and we live in these massive rooms and massive houses and they live the same as us in these small place spaces. It's just, it's amazing. The next show is called Amazing Interiors. Now by the name you can tell that it's mainly about interior design which I find it's really important as architects to that and for architecture students that you understand how interior design is made because sometimes we get lost in the concept and how the building looks from outside but looking how the building looks on the inside is just as important especially for your inter interior renders now this show has loads of different episodes and it goes over a range of different styles for example like ho a horror house circus house it has like loads of different things and uh, they talk about how they've made them like the construction of it which is what i find really really interesting for example there was a really small room that he changed and there was another one where he showed his basement now, it, there's loads of different things, but what they do show is the drawings, how they design them from start to finish, and it's literally, there's only about two to three people that work on these on these uh, renovations. It's not like a big team, so it shows you, and sometimes it's, it's, it's inspiring that you can do these big changes of your house yourself, which I find really cool. Now, the next show is called Grand Designs. I know it's not on Netflix, but it really should be. It's amazing. Now, what I find really cool is that Kevin McLeod, he goes back to these people's houses after a few years and he talks about them, about how they find the house, how are you enjoying it, about how these houses have lasted and how they've been used. Now, he also shows, for example, any changes in construction, uh, if the price has gone up for things or if the deliveries are late, and it just shows about how he, how the designers and the construction people manage these kind of issues, which is really cool. It's really architecture is like the real life what happens in architecture construction wise and this is the end of the video these are my five favorite architecture shows on netflix if you have any suggestions please comment down below and we can help everyone out to watch more architecture stuff on netflix to make netflix more useful thank you all very much for watching i'm dr insider and i'll see you soon